I was working for the National Book Critics Circle, and I was originally getting about 100 emails a day, and then it went up to 200, and then it went up to 300. And then I met a friend who came to my apartment, and I had been away from my email for 45 minutes, and I just showed him what was happening when I went away from my desk. And 72 emails came down the screen. They just sort of marched down the screen like a little army of, of want and need. And I just realized that this is an insane situation. This is not a livable situation. We're not biologically trained to respond to this many people. Um, and I was surprised that no one had really fully remarked upon it and about the kind of tyrannizing effect that this much email has on, on people in their day-to-day -day lives. People check their email before they get to work. They check it on the way to work. They check it in the bathroom at work. And the sheer amount of email that you get means that you spend technically about 40% of your day writing and responding to email. And that bleeds into our personal lives, it bleeds into our professional lives, and everything is mushed together in one big ball of shit. You go home and you're only partially available to your family or to your friends or to your spouse. I think email is great. It's enormously efficient. Um, it can make communicating over great distance uh, a lot easier. Um, but the, the big downside to email is that it sends everything at a super high rate of speed. For s several thousand years, communication has worked at the speed of a horse. It worked at the speed of a carriage. It worked at the speed of an automobile and, and an airplane. Now we're communicating at the speed of electricity. And there's something very different about that. It, when people were walking letters to their friends, when a horse was taking something, there was an organic quality to communication. It moved as fast as a living thing could take it there. And now we're trying to keep up with a machine which I think has far outstripped our capacity biologically to keep up with it. And some of the solutions are really quite basic. It just means instead of sending an email, pick up the telephone. Um, instead of uh, writing a, an email to your friend while you're on vacation, send a letter because there's something that your handwriting communicates. Um, there's an intimacy to it and there's a craftedness to it that can never be duplicated in an email.